Okay, so now let's talk about water softening and how this relates to hardness. And we know we can expect a question about softening on our civil and environmental FE exams. So this relates more to environmental, but we have to understand it also for the civil section. So we know here we're talking about softening and this relates to hardness. So this involves a method of removing the chemicals that make our water hard essentially the removal of water hardness so we know softening involves adding lime and soda ash and what we're going to do is precipitate out carbonate hardness first that's what we'll do first and this is generally done with lime so we add lime in our rapid mix basin and that's how we can remove this carbonate hardness then we can treat and precipitate out the magnesium and calcium and this is a combination of lime and soda ash so these are the chemicals that are typically used so lime is this and soda ash is the sodium carbonate so we know step one here is to focus on the carbonate hardness so we're gonna be looking at the calcium carbonate hardness and we know this is removed first by raising the pH to around 10.3 then we add lime to precipitate out calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate so we do this by adding lime so we know here if we're looking at first calcium carbonate we know we're focusing on calcium carbonate so we want to precipitate out the calcium so this is the calcium bicarbonate then we add the lime so this is our lime here on the reactant side and on the product side we're gonna get two calcium and this is two because we have one here and one here one more of this one more of this gets us two of the on the right side on the product side and this is in the form of calcium carbonate as a solid so that's for the calcium carbonate for magnesium carbonate we have a different reaction so we have the magnesium here we add the lime so this is still the lime and notice here we precipitate out still two of calcium because we have two here and we know we're going to also precipitate out the magnesium as well we get that on the product side so this is for magnesium carbonate this reaction and both of these reactions are given in the reference handbook in the new reference handbook on page 341 so let me write that this is on page 341 in F E handbook the newest one handbook 10.0.1 so the latest one and this is under the lime soda softening equations this is for carbonate the calcium carbonate hardness and magnesium carbonate then that's for carbonate and that uses lime notice how we use lime here for the calcium and magnesium non-carbonate hardness, which we have to also treat, is achieved by using a combination of lime and soda ash. So we use both lime and soda ash for the non-carbonate hardness. So here we're adding soda ash in this one. So this will be our soda ash. And we know in the second reaction, we're going to add both lime and soda ash. So we add lime here and also we add soda ash. And this is specific to non-carbonate hardness. So these reactions are also provided on the same page. So now let's, based on this understanding, let's do an FE type question real quick. We know here carbonate hardness removal is required for treating water through softening. The water quality to be treated is given in the table. So we have a table and we have our compounds and we're given the concentration as milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So that's nice. They already converted that to us as a milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So the question here is the amount of lime in milligram per liter as calcium carbonate needed to remove the carbonate hardness is most nearly what so what we're given is the data here so this is given and what we want to find essentially is going to be the carbonate hardness how much lime do we need lime do we need to treat 
to remove essentially let me right remove and what we want to remove here is only the carbonate hardness not it's only so we're not looking at the non-carbonate we're only looking at carbonate hardness so what do we do i recommend first let's draw our bar diagram and we know here we have calcium and it's going to look something like that and we start at zero here and we have the magnesium here so for calcium that concentration is 258.5 and for magnesium it's going to be 65 so I take 258 plus 65.5 because zero is here we're going to the right so you take the total of 258 plus 65.5 we get this up to this point. We're going from left to right. We're increasing. So that one should be 324 at this very end. So at the bottom we have the, we always place the bicarbonate and the sulfate. So essentially the negative. And it's going to be the 235. So we know it's before the 258, right? So it's going to, I'll just say it's here. This is carbonate. And we know then we have the sulfate and we take we know here is 235.0 then we just add the two, 235 plus 89 and we'll get up to this point again zeros here we're going to the right so there we should get 324 same as here so this is the sulfate so now we're looking at carbonate hardness, right? When you think of carbonate hardness, it always has to have this carbonate, right? This carbonate term. It has to have the alkalinity. So we know carbonate hardness, by definition, carbonate hardness or CH is going to be the minimum it's the min of the total hardness or so we're comparing the total hardness and the alkalinity I'll just say ALK and we know alkalinity is always gonna be the bicarbonate ion so alkalinity in this case is 235 so let's write that as 235 so alkalinity is always the bicarbonate And this is 235. And it's going to be milligram per liter as calcium carbonate, which is the units we always want for alkalinity. And that's given to us. So we have that. What's the total hardness? The total hardness, it's going to be the concentrations of the calcium and the magnesium. So let's add those together. The calcium and magnesium, which is also done for us, right? So we know that this is the total hardness. This portion here is indeed the total hardness. This is our TH. So we just added the calcium and magnesium and we get 324. This is our alkalinity, right? This will be our alkalinity. That's why we have, it's good that you draw a bar diagram because you can visually see the total hardness is bigger than the alkalinity. That means we have to take the minimum of those. So which one do you, we, do we pick? Obviously the alkalinity. So let me just write the total hardness here, which is 324, right? So the carbonate hardness, our CH, is going to be what? The alkalinity because we have to take the minimum so that's going to be our carbonate hardness and it's just the alkalinity value so we take 235.0 milligram per liter as calcium carbonate so this is the carbonate hardness and this question asks us how much lime do we need so essentially we're only treating for carbonate hardness so the amount of lime we need is just this value. So this is our answer. So the lime needed here 
it's going to be 235.0 and milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So this is our answer. And if we look at our choices, it should be B. And one last thing is we have the carbonate hardness. Let's say we want the non-carbonate hardness. So the definition of that NCH is going to equal to the total hardness minus carbonate hardness. So the non-carbonate hardness is going to equal, what's the total hardness? It's 324 minus the carbonate hardness, which is 235. And if you do the math for that, you should get around 89. So this is milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So that's just the extra note. This is the non-carbonate hardness. But our correct answer for this question should be B, the amount of lime needed to remove just the carbonate hardness.